Hello, Laura back again, this time with Lewin's three-step change model. This is one of the simplest and easiest change models to remember, and I very much recommend if you're at level six that you learn this because it comes up in numerous modules. So Kurt Lewin developed a change model involving these three steps, unfreezing existing behavior, changing behavior, and refreezing. The um, model is very simple and practical, as I mentioned, and it's all about kind of changing the perception that change is needed and then reinforcing that change. So we're going to drill into each of these stages, the unfreeze, change and refreeze. And it's sometimes referred to as the ice cube model. So what is the point? Well, by looking at changes with these distinct stages, you're able to prepare yourself for what's coming and make a plan to manage the change and the transition. This should lead to greater success in your change management approach. So the first stage is to unfreeze existing behavior. So really what a manager has to do at this point is to sell the needs and benefits of change. So why it needs to happen and how it's going to benefit the organization and the individuals. And there's going to be resistance to that. People do fear change. And so it's about confronting and undermining the resistance, basically making the logical case as to why this has to happen. And it's about facilitating the unlearning of old ways. So essentially to try and create new structures, new processes and so on. The second stage is the change stage. Communicating new behavior and norms. This is what we expect to happen going forward. Offering incentives and rewards for adoption. Modeling from the top down so that the leaders and the managers are seen as leading by example. And encouraging trial and practice. Things can go wrong, but we're all in it together to make this change work. This can be a very effective approach if done in a positive, motivational way by the managers, rather than inserting fear. The final stage is to refreeze. This is where you consolidate and reinforce your learning. You may get rewards or recognition for successful change. This will make people more likely to do further change and amend your policies and practices so they become business as usual. So it becomes routine. So just to reiterate, you start by creating the motivation to change, which is the unfree section. You move through the change process by promoting effective communications and processes. And at the process end, when you return the organization to a sense of stability and business as usual, that is your refreeze section. So I hope you found that useful. Please subscribe to the channel, check out our courses online and check back for a new model video soon. Thanks so much for listening. Bye for now.